Boldly going where no Trekkie has ever gone before, Star Trek New Voyages Phase 2 is a fan-created science fiction series set in the Star Trek universe. 100% crowdfunded and released exclusively on the internet, the project is a labor of love that started back in the late 90s. Designed as a continuation of the original Star Trek, it begins in the fifth and final year of the Starship Enterprise's five-year mission. Episodes are produced at a rate of about one a year, with the first released in January 2004. James Corley is the executive producer of the series and also plays the role of Captain Kirk. They've been downloaded millions of times. Uh, I think the, the heaviest downloaded one we, was Blood and Fire Part 1 and 2, and it's just millions upon millions of, of downloads. So it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, flattering and scary at the same time <laughs> that that many people can, can do this. None of this would be possible without the work and donations of hundreds of volunteers from around the world. The fan base has become so big, organizers are not always able to accommodate everyone. The fans are at the very core of the project and are encouraged to become active members of the crew, whatever their background. Set. We do on-the-job training throughout the shoot. Um, anybody can come in with absolutely no knowledge at all on filmmaking, and by the end of the shoot, they will have found their niche within the organization. Uh, the aim is to be as faithful to the original series as possible to give it that authentic look, from the way the sets are built and painted to the use of lighting. The crew adheres as closely as possible to the methods that were used when filming the original series. It's this attention to detail that has drawn such a large following. Director of photography Jeff Barkledge says it's like traveling back in time. We're crazy sticklers to detail. You know, we want it to be exactly like it. We have matching shadows, matching colors, matching camera angles, matching diffusion filters. I mean, we're going about this as if this was like a time-traveled situation. You're back in the 60s and you're shooting as it was at that time period. Most of the actors are amateurs, Star Trek fans made up to resemble the original crew as closely as possible. Some professional actors are hired to play the main parts, and there are also occasional cameos from members of the first Star Trek series. Brandon Stacy takes on the role of the iconic Mr. Spock. The pressure is high, and he says one way he deals with it is by drawing parallels with his character. I definitely... Uh I'm juggling two or more personalities at once. So I've got my hand in hot and the other one in cold just to, uh, just to stay balanced. And I feel like Spock is uh, kind of doing the same thing. The CBS TV network, which owns the legal rights to the Star Trek franchise, has allowed the distribution of fan-created material as long as no attempt is made to profit from it. A new permanent set for Star Trek New Voyages Phase 2 has been completed in the small town of Ticonderoga in upstate New York, and organizers are now hoping to ramp up production. Trekkies will be able to enjoy the latest 50-minute episode on YouTube before the end of the year. Good luck. Yeah, I know. Anne roll a Dutch? I don't know, man.